Here is another question on linear systems from test 2015. Determine the number of solutions algebraically to each linear system. Show all your work. So there are three given linear systems 2x plus y equals to 6, y minus 8 equals to minus 2x, 3x plus y equals to 1, 6x plus 2y equals to 2, and 2x plus y minus 4 equals to 0 x plus 2y minus 6 equals to 0. You can solve this question and then look into my suggestion. To find the number of solutions algebraically, we need to write these equations in slope and intercept form. And then comparing their slope and y-intercepts, we can say how many solutions each system will have. So let's convert them in slope and intercept form. So the first one could be written as y equals to minus 2x plus 6. And here we can write this as y equals to minus 2x plus 8. Now decide about number of solutions. Let me do the rest. Now here we have y equals to minus 3x plus 1. And I'll divide by 2 getting here by 3. 1 and 1 so I can write y equals 2 dividing by 2 we get minus 3x dividing by 2 it is plus 1 and the third one is y equals to minus 2x plus 4 and here y is equals to dividing by 2 half of x with a minus sign since I'm taking it to the right size plus 3 now, based on slope and intercepts, you can write number of solutions. Now, in this case, slopes are same, right? So, m1 equals to m2, but y-intercepts are different, right? So, b1 is not equal to b2. That means y-intercepts are different. So, the lines are parallel, correct? So, the lines are parallel, and therefore, we have zero solutions, right? So, the number of solutions will be zero in this case. In the next one, we have same y-intercept and same slope, right? So we have slopes are equal, y-intercepts are also equal. So these are coincident lines, right? So they are overlapping. And therefore, the number of solutions are infinite, right? So that's the symbol for infinite. So we have infinite solutions for part B. In this case, slopes are different. And since slopes are different, we have a unique solution. So the number of solutions for the third one is just one. I hope that helps. You can subscribe to my videos. I'm Anil Kumar and learn a lot about linear systems. Thank you.